We are at Acadia National Park outside Bar Harbor, and it is freaky crowded here. Um, I've been here before, I don't remember it being that way in the middle of July, but now it's uh, August 1st and it is just crazy. Um, we were going to go climb the Beehive, couldn't park within a mile of it. Um, so, and there's just people everywhere. We finally found a spot on the side of the road to get out and get down to the shore and we're gonna wander around, but we might have to come back and see some of the primary sites here later tonight. It's gorgeous though. You can see why it's uh, popular. We're very near Thunder Hole and um, about 45 minutes before low tides. The tide's still going out. Normally the water would be all the way up to where I'm standing. But, um, see the boys down there exploring the tide pools here. A deep ravine. A very deep ravine. Can't go around it. <laughs> Can't go under it. You could you could down climb that and then back up here. I, I normally jump across. Um, I like jump across the um Yellow. And the mussels and the snails. The green jello. Lime. It's lime jello. I wonder what the rate of erosion on deepening that hole is. Oh, wow. Yeah, I caught a rainbow in that one too. at Otter Creek. Very low tide, so all the pools are exposed. We're going to go see what we can find in here. One of them is trying to bury himself right here. Oh wow, they're really tiny. Like, this one's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, there he is. And then this one's trying to eat the snail.
Yeah, see, he's going across to the island. Okay. This is good. No, I don't make the lobster. I make the. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was so right. It is now 6 p.m. and the place is ghost town. It's so much nicer here now. Um, we're at Schooner Head and uh, there's a little trail here which we're going to go down. It's unmarked. Well, it's not unmarked, but it's not really advertised as much of anything. There's no signs that say where you're going. There's none of this. But we ran into somebody here last night because this was the kind of the easiest place to get to. Uh, kind of late in the evening to just get a sampler of, of the coast. And a woman who'd lived here all her life said, oh, when she grew up here, it was called an enemy cave. And now it's Schooner Head. So um, she says this path leads down to the rocks, and if you know what you're looking for, there's a cave in the rocks. Um, it's coming up on high tide again, so I don't know that we'll be able to get to it, but we're going to uh, take a look and see what we can find.
Oh. Moving like things on it. This is awesome. An enemy cave. Okay, let's get out before the tide traps us in. <laughs> 